Blacklight Retribution's multiplayer is pretty straightforward for the new gamer. The basics of a multiplayer match are setting up your character, choosing your loadouts, choosing your depot items and grenades and gear, and your character appearance and any awards or badges that you have on yourself. It's easy to just jump right in, grab a weapon, start shooting people. It's competitive for first-person shooter play. There's a lot of different techniques and tactics that will really ensure success in our game. Definitely always use your HRV. HRV is critical to the gameplay. They need to be constantly updating that thing and then seeing where their enemies are on the battlefield and then reacting to that and moving towards that combat. So it gives them totally heads up awareness. Some people like to use the HRV visor as soon as they spawn and get a very good picture about what's going on in the match right as they're coming out of the gate. And so they kind of know where to go, what places are less defended, where the last person was that had killed them so that we, they can go take a revenge kill. There's also a lot of people who like to save that. They won't even use it for the full duration. They'll just click it on and off as quick as they can and get a very fast snapshot of the environment. In fact, if you use it in short bursts, you can actually get more use out of it. But there's a handicap to it where you have to let it recharge if you've powered it all the way down. Some of my favorite features of Blacklight Retribution are our dynamic spawning system with our expanded levels. So you frequently spawn near your teammates rather than back in a base. You're always in the action immediately. In Blacklight Retribution, we have a number of game modes available for play, both team-based and teamless, all working on the same subset of maps and providing a different gameplay experience for each map and each game mode. We have deathmatch, team deathmatch, first person to X number of kills wins. And we have domination where there's three control points, players fight to control the various control points, and first team to a number of points wins. In Team King of the Hill, players fight over a single node. Once the node's been taken down by one team or the other, they're awarded a point and then it's advanced to the next node. We have capture the flag, you know, try to capture the enemy's flag while your flag remains in your base. And we have a you know dedicated live team that will be constantly working on the game, updating it, adding new features, made a revive, fixing bugs that are found in the game, responding to what the community wants and, and doesn't want. What? You know, we don't want people to burn out on the game. We want to give them new content, new maps, new characters, new weapons, new items, and just basically always be expanding the universe, expanding the game itself, and adapting to what the market demands. We're a dedicated group of developers, all with the same common vision, working towards the same goal. We will continue to support the game at post-launch and just make it the best it can be.